we are gonna paint it, but actually we're gonna put glitter on first. The reason for that is because I don't want the glitter to stick all over the paint. The first step is to put a bunch of white glue on, and we're gonna paint that on with a brush. And I'm gonna start sprinkling some glitter on. We'll do a little glitter gradient. I'm using thicker glitter that is actually normally for resin, but you can use thinner glitter too. Try to fill in some of the empty spots. I'm gonna shake the excess glitter on this paper plate. Now we're gonna pick a paint palette. So we have our primed glittered shadow box. Next, I'm doing the inside the shadow box. So we have the edges painted, and now we're gonna do the sides. My purple kind of blended in with the pink a little bit. I don't mind that so much, but if you don't want it to kind of bleed together, I suggest letting one layer dry. All right, we have the first couple steps done. Our hexagon shadow box with the glitter in the background, and then the two-toned sides and edges. Before we move on to the next step, we're gonna let the glitter and the glue in the background dry. And once that's dried, we're gonna move on to adding this really cool crystal stone. For this, you're gonna need industrial glue. It will help adhere heavy things like stones to wood. I'm gonna squeeze a bunch in the middle. We are gonna stick our crystal in the middle. And you can also create a different composition. If you wanna do a few, you can do that. But you do have to let it set overnight, so you're gonna leave it flat. This is a super simple craft, and it's a great little gift to give to a friend or a mom, maybe something for Mother's Day. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Tag me in your creations. For other cool craft videos, check out my YouTube channel and be sure to subscribe.